So, we've been over here on this project now. In just a little over two weeks. I'm gonna go in here real quick and give you guys a, an update. Hang on, I remember the old video I started right here. Someone turned the camera around now. Okay, you remember this was like this when we started. And we came into here. This portion was already done. Except for right down in there. We've already rebuilt all those main girder supports. We've already rebuilt those main girder supports. And just to kind of give you guys an idea on what all we've done. <clears throat> okay, you got a 2 by 12 you got a half inch sheet of plywood for a spacer. You got another two by 12. Oh, those will have a two inch ledge going on both sides of them uh, when we're finished. We've been putting in these joists. We're, we've left a few openings um, that you see here and here that we're going to use for uh, when we do the encapsulation work once we get all this finished up. Um, we've put down a 10 mil floor liner, mostly throughout which will be completely covered up with the 20 mil. Um, let me see if I can turn the flash on. Isaiah and Chance has finished putting up the remaining portion of the foam board that Gary had wanted. Uh, let me fix my knee pad real quick before I go any further. Okay. So if we look overhead here you'll notice all these are all new joists I believe all the way down there is a inside perimeter French drain system all the way around this entire crawl space leading to a sump pump basin at the entry of the crawl space this will have a, a 10 mil ground barrier as well before we put any of the 20 mil up Let's go forward here. God. Friggin' knee pads. I was not in favor of the foam board, but the homeowner was. That's what the homeowner gets. These are all new joists. All the way down through here. Something you guys might like to know is that this house was built in 2001. Can you believe that? We are having to currently rebuild the entire floor system of a home due to wood rot caused by moisture in a crawl space in a home right here in Cleveland, Tennessee that was built in freaking 2001. Wow. All new girder supports. All new joists. Let's go forward. I did not purchase this. I've never used a 10 mil in my life. This was purchased by the homeowner. He already had it. I never, ever, ever like to put our poly down on top of bare floor, so we always want a ground barrier first. Um, typically, I'll use the existing ground barrier. In this case, there was not much of one. And um, just so happened he had this 10 mil on hand, so that's going to work out really well. So you're talking about when we get that 20 mil fiberglass reinforced poly on top of that. Wow. And then overlapped in areas, you're going to talk about be talking about greater than a 30 mil it's gonna be crazy. This place is gonna look so different, guys. And with all this backfill gravel that, they, that they've put in here and got mostly level perfectly, man, it's gonna look really good. We're coming up on where we're working right now. I'll show you here in a second. We've just rebuilt all these, and you can see where we're at, just right up here. Look at this. What moisture does, guys. 
Uh, look at that. Anybody want to know what moisture damage does to the wood? There you go. I've been telling everybody about this for years. Some listen, some don't. Here's you some footage of what the existing wood was looking like. Kind of gives you an idea of why we're having to cut all this out. We beat all this out yesterday. And this is what we're currently rebuilding as we speak. I'll crawl on in over here. Give you guys a better shot. Yesterday we got all the joists put into right here. This is where we're getting ready to continue. <clears throat> and right now, where we have been rebuilding this girder right here, you can see we've already got the one two by 12 in place. We've got the half inch uh, sheet of plywood in place and now we're getting ready to beat the other two by 12 in place. So there's pretty much an update up to this point. Uh, we still got a lot of work to do on these floors back here and I guess that'll be enough to show for now. Okay, I'll continue again once we get a little further.